Hey guys, it's Shy. Welcome to the channel if you are new and if you're not, hey boo. So in today's video, I created this beautiful look that you see. I used my P. Louise budget box for the month of August. So if you guys wanna see what all is inside this box right here, then let's go ahead and get into the video. I look very different from the intro and that's okay because I wanted to make sure that I had a clean face to swatch the products that are in my P. Louise budget box for the month of August. I haven't opened this package so you're gonna get like my natural reaction to this unboxing. Um, already I love it. It's pink and it says go shoddy. It's your birthday. Um, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Okay, so I do have the Go Shoddy palette, so I love the packaging. And you know, every day is your birthday at P. Louise, okay? So let's go ahead and open it. It does have a tab here. This is what's inside. So you guys are kind of getting a more sneak peek than me. In this budget box, they did release some cream bronzers. I actually placed an order. Um, so I'm excited to see what colors are in here. Um, so the first one I'm seeing is called Fudge Fantasy. And it is basically like the cream blush, but it's now in a liquid bronzer. I also got Cookie Cup, which is a like lighter peachy color. So these are the two liquid bronzers that came in my box. Then I got, ooh, this says, I'm so glad you're mine, my partner in Prime. This is their sculpting primer. So this is what it looks like. And it says, so let's make a pact, babe. I'm so glad that you're mine. I do anything for you, my partner in prime. And the main ingredients in this is water. Um, on the side, it says, looking for the one, my partner in pink. Are you interested? Tell me, what do you think? Can you be there for me and keep me primed to perfection? Make sure there's no one else because I don't fight for affection, okay? And neither do I. It plumps, sculpts, and tightens. It's anti-aging and it has anti-oxidation qualities. It revitalizes and rejuvenates. So I'm guessing this is just going to be like a hydrating and smoothing primer. Um, I actually have primer on, but I can just take that off. The last product in here is a eyeshadow palette and it says but does it come in pink okay this is what it looks like super cute these are the colors so it's very pink and purple the names oh are so cute it's like wednesdays x's love notes clueless wipe me it's official, pink culture, pinky promise, like the names are so cute, think pink. Um, so we'll see, I might do something more grungy and work with the purples, but I literally live for a pink moment, so we will see. So that's what I got in my budget box, and I'm gonna show you guys what products I hauled. I do get this budget box every month, and sometimes I place an extra order, okay? So my order did come. So I got the Body Butter. This is Mallow Magic. This is like a marshmallow scent. And this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. 
so adorable online the cream bronzers do come in a bundle just like the blushes so you can get three for 25 or three for 18 and normally one is like 25 so it's a better deal to just get three so i picked up three shades these are the colors that i got i picked up chocolate charm hazelnut hearts and so cinnamon cookie cup is just very light so i'm not even going to swatch it but that is what it looks like it really just looks like peanut butter these are the bronzers so these three are the ones that i bought and then this is the one that came in my budget box this is what the packaging looks like if you've never tried a p louise liquid blush it comes in this packaging with the applicator on it that you can literally just take off and that is how i like to use it this is in the shade so cinnamon i'm gonna swatch her right here this is literally like a perfect shade that i would use on me personally it's warm it's neutral it's not too red so we're starting off to a good start with this color Next is Hazelnut Heart, and this is the Hazelnut Heart. So it is a little bit lighter, but as you can see, it's really pretty. This is Chocolate Charm. This is super rich. This is Chocolate Charm, oh my God. That's literally gonna be perfect for contour. Last but not least is Fudge Fantasy. And this is Fudge Fantasy. So Chocolate Charm is a lot, it has more purple in it and this is definitely more brown. But as you can see, I could probably wear all of them. Um, yeah, I could definitely wear them all. I'd probably get away with this more in like the winter time. Those are what the bronzers look like on my skin. I took off my primer so that we can use the P. Louise. This is what the primer looks like. It does come with a pump. It has a shelf life of 12 months and it comes with one 0.05 fluid ounces let's try her out and it's pink it is a very light pink so i don't know if you guys can tell or if it looks white on camera but it is a pink primer it's definitely the details for me it's thin it does have some slip to it i'm gonna try on one side of my face to see if we can notice a difference but it feels really thin it feels like water and it is starting to dry down i will say it definitely smoothed it my skin feels really good and i don't have any glowiness which i love because i have oily skin so this is with the primer and this is without so i'm just gonna apply it so far i really like this and i feel like it did smooth out the skin and my skin feels hydrated without like being too like glowy or like overly moisturized my skin completely absorbed it i'm just gonna put more um lip oil on this is the p louise stay shining lip oil i get this in the bad b energy duo this is in the scent what the fudge um the packaging is so adorable and it is definitely a thicker like lip oil it's literally like a gloss and it just really hydrates the lips and gives it that glossy finish and it stays on i'm of course priming the eyes 
with the P. Louise based in Rumor 2. Now I'm taking the But Does It Come In Pink palette. I'm going to take this shade called Bestie Bestie. I'm going to try the P. Louise like dot method. So you add three dots just like this and you blend. You just connect the dots. Now it's time to like blend out the edges. I'm going to take this shade right here which is called X's. Put some right on the edge and just tap. That way you can start to blend. And now to just like diffuse that for the final blend, I'm going to be taking the shade Think Pink. This is just a fluffier brush to just really diffuse the edges and I'm just bringing that in and just lightly blending. So this is what the blend is looking like and I think I'm just going to kind of leave the colors like this so now it's time to go into the shimmer. Um, I'm really not sure what shimmer I'm going to go into. This shade called Guilty Pleasure is calling my name. This shade called Fetch, I think these two would really look pretty together. And then we have this one that's just jumping out at me called rumor has it so this is what the shades that i'm thinking about using i think i'm going to start with um, guilty pleasure and top it with rumor has it it's best to use your fingers for these shimmers i'm just gonna apply that all over the lid and it's giving very much grunge and like Halloween vibes. I'm gonna take Rumor Has It right here. Definitely very glittery, very sparkly. And actually I'm just gonna apply that on top. It does have a silver reflect. I'm just gonna go ahead and do wing liner, foundation, and concealer so that we can come back and do the liquid bronzer. So I'm gonna be taking the P. Louise Cheek of It in So Cinnamon. So I'm gonna start on my forehead. And as you can see, that is literally like the perfect amount of like bronze. And this is going to be very natural. You will have to build this up because it is like that more sheer formula. But as you can see, it's definitely bronzing up the skin. It's actually not that much darker than my skin tone. It's going to give like natural. I'm gonna take a little bit of Fudge Fantasy and I'm just gonna add that to try to, you know, create more depth to the skin. So I'm just gonna take that on a different brush and just like apply that here. And that is giving me more like depth. So I feel like honestly I could use either one, but that is what it's giving. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the face and then we're going to talk about the budget box. 
and this is what the final look is giving using the products from my p louise budget box so the eyes are absolutely so beautiful and the cheek products really look nice my skin is giving very much bronze i definitely feel like i could have went a little bit darker i honestly could have used just like fudge fantasy on its own to really like sculpt the face but it looks really nice um the primer as you can see is very smoothing it's not going to control your oils if you are oily i did have to kind of touch up my skin throughout the day but it definitely left me very smooth so it's perfect for normal to like drier skin um, or if you wanted to just add a mattifying primer on top of it it's gonna work really well with that but I enjoyed everything that I got in my P. Louise budget box this box was definitely a banger for me let me know what you guys think about this budget box. Yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.